Hi, James again from Radio.co. In the last video, we looked at managing your media files and uploading files in bulk. Now let's look at how to create and schedule playlists. Now let's click on playlists on our side menu. You'll see the list of playlists and currently we only have one, the default playlist. The default playlist is important because this is what the system will follow if there's nothing else scheduled. If there are no items in the default playlist, then it will just play tracks at random. So you'll always be on air as long as there is content on your system. But to create a professional sounding broadcast, we really recommend creating playlists and scheduling as much content as possible. It's really easy to do. Let's create a new playlist now and I'll call it The James Show. And I'll then go ahead and pick a color which will be used to identify this playlist and click Add. Now that playlist has been created, here you'll see two sections. On the left, this is my media library. Now you can search for individual tracks or tags on here and also see the most recently uploaded items. On the right hand side, this is the actual playlist and any content we add here will play out on air in the order that it appears from top to bottom. So to add an item to the playlist, just click on the item and then it will appear on the right hand side. You can build a playlist using individual songs, tags, or any combination of the two. For example, if you want to build a playlist with a balanced selection of genres, you might decide to add a top 40 tag followed by rock, followed by another top 40, followed by acoustic, then a jingle between songs. This playlist format will repeat over and over for the length of the show, giving your listeners a nice balanced mix of music and jingles. The playlist is drag and drop, so if you need to rearrange playlist items at any time, you can click and drag them to reorder. If you've got a manually curated playlist with individual songs, it might be useful to take a note of the length and make sure that it's long enough for the amount of time you're scheduling the playlist for. Now let's move on to the scheduler. We've designed this to be as quick as possible, so once you have a few playlists, you can easily schedule events with a few clicks. It works much like a standard calendar that you'd use. You'd click and drag events for the length of time you want them to occur. The event is then created. You get options on which playlist you want to play, and if you want to give a live DJ ability to broadcast during this event. And also options of how and when you want the event to repeat if you do. We find that most stations operate on a weekly rotation, so you only ever need to design one full week and your events will then repeat week on week if you so desire. By default, the calendar is set to a 15 minute granularity. However, if you want to be more accurate, you can adjust this to schedule events right down to the nearest five minute interval using the menu at the bottom. In the next video, we're going to cover how listeners can tune into your station, including our visual player builder.